Oh, look at those. What do you mean? Hey, I'm out to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have stepped on stage yesterday. I'm gonna go for strawberry. Late night Pepe. Shows that peel. Oh, for the smallest tub of Ben and Jerry's we've ever seen. I've come in with the strawberry cheesecake because all the other flavors, like I don't really like, strawberry is always a safe go to. Yeah. You know you want to. Oh, yeah. Right, so if you haven't already worked it out, we're here for a cheeky late night Pepe. We're here with the boys from the gym, and Brittany is her last night here in the UK. She's headed back to the airport tomorrow morning. So, it's our last night together, we just went out for dinner. And now we're here for, like, I guess, I guess post dinner to get some ice cream. Body power was such a hectic day, and I obviously couldn't have got the footage. I couldn't have, like, filmed, and, like, it wouldn't have been as successful without this guy right here. So, got a little bit of a gift. Dude, what we got here? Take it. It's, Ooh, it's all yours. What we got? <laughs> oh, he's ruined. Oh, yes, this oh, bad boy. No, yes, this mate. Bad boy is sick. <laughs> what we got here? Yeah. Grey t shirt. I've already got that one, so I thought, you know, I might as well give it to you. Creatine defined. Best creatine, mate. I thought you were shredding. You're getting on stage today. I want like a full catwalk. Yeah, so I thought you were shredding. <laughs> <today. laughs> Boys, I will rock this. I am not scared. <laughs> in a best in oh, oh, yes, I mean, I'll rock a stringer in Pepe. <laughs> we are so fit in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Her train leaves in like 15 minutes, so we have a little bit of time to eat and say goodbye, all that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Mmm. So what do we say? <laughs> Brittany's flight back, well, train back, is in like 10 minutes. I'm not going home though, I'm going to Greece for a week. And then I'll be back in London for my flight, and then back to America. This will be the first time that we've been apart for the past four months. We never did the video how we met. No one knows. We'll have to do that when we see each other again, which is going to be in about a month and a half. There's a situation with like Esther. We need to keep the like the border people happy with the length that we spend apart. That's another situation. I'll explain about that in another video. But how do you say goodbye? It's all you. How do you say goodbye. <laughs> you don't look bad. I feel sick. I just don't like this. But I will see you guys soon. I guess. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> So, we just said goodbye, um, she got the train, so. Uh, I guess when you spend so much time with someone for like four months, and it's crazy because we wanted this for like four years. We were together before, before I had this channel. We broke up because of distance, because she lived in America and I lived in the UK and I didn't have enough money for the relationship to work, to travel and stuff, so. We broke up around like 2,000 subscribers, so ever since that, like it's been, we've been apart, but now we can make it work. Now we can make it work, now we can be together. We have an Esther, but we just have to like leave a month in between, so they let me through the border for another, another three months, so it doesn't look like I'm trying to like border hop and like just live in the country without actually legitimately working, which is like a nine to five. I can't believe I'm crying on camera. I don't know, I was, oh, wow. We're gonna get some food now and uh, get back and then go to the gym. Sat down for a little while and just collected my thoughts. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use the clip that I recorded straight after seeing Brittany because obviously I was emotional, all that kind of thing. But I've had a moment to breathe. Had an amazing conversation with a guy you may know if you watch Rob Lipsitz's vlogs. A guy called Ben Keeley. He used to be the videographer for Rob Lipsitz's vlogs. He used to edit his vlogs. So we got the chance to meet for the first time. We kind of broed out a little bit about like, you know, plans in the future, technology, videos, editing, all that kind of thing. So it was a great distraction from the situation, obviously, that just happens. <sighs> We're in a good mindset right now. Probably eat some more food because that's kind of what I do when I'm not feeling too great. I just eat, which is great for bulking. Right now, we're going to head back and go for the rest of today. Hey, George. How you doing? This is not your chicken. <laughs> just got back to my dad's house, picked up a cheeky chicken and rice box from Pepe's on the way home. To my surprise, when I did get home, I noticed I got a delivery. BPI Sports have dropped off a new package. I have actually no idea what's inside this, so we're going to open it up right now and see what's in it. All right, so first off in the box, we have a tub of Best BCAA in flavor blue raspberry. Next, we have a tub of Best Glutamine, which is my favorite in lime sherbet. 
Then we have a tub of my favorite protein to have with oats in the morning, which is the strawberry cake whey HD. Next, we have a, another tub of protein, the ISO HD, which is a leaner form of protein, but this is in flavor vanilla cookie. This is the one I prefer to have after the gym for like protein shakes. That one I prefer for oats in the morning, but this one's like a more, I don't know, it just mixes better with water. So yeah. Then finally, we have a tub of Roxylene metabolic weight loss. This is just basically just like a standard fat burning pill, which is great for when we start cutting down in just over a month. So I'm gonna keep this in the cupboard for now. And then finally, we have a bunch of samples just for like test like things that are coming out in the future. We've got some keto aminos. We have some best BCA with energy, CLI carnitine, a different pack of amino strong. Never seen this before. We've got some cutler pre-workout, which is the pre-workout that I used to have before the new one more rep. But yeah, this is the new stack that they just sent me. But I think no one's more excited about this delivery than George. Well guys, so we just got to the gym, got a protein shake before because I just woke up from a nap, got back from the train station, obviously did the BPI sports and boxing, and then pretty much passed out, didn't get much sleep last night, so obviously just spent the past two hours napping, but we're in the gym now, got a little snack, don't want to eat too much for the gym, so a protein shake will suppress the hunger just for now. Bang. Exercise number two on chest is going to be incline, dumbbell, press, warmed up on the bench. It feels so good to just be back benching like steel plate. I don't know, it's good to be back. But we've got 40 kilo, incline, dumbbell, press. We have like 10, 12 reps. Explicit content here with that nipple. Oh, There's some serious what's nipple, what's out the, in that video. nipple out that Free the nipple, on, mate. mate. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. Everything.
this chest, moving on to the first tricep exercise, which is going to be dumbbell overhead extension. Get closer. I don't know what it is, but it just feels so good to be back at Elite, just training with like my boys, training back at my hometown gym, the vibe is good, the music here is so much better than it was at Equinox, so obviously that obviously aids the workout, so we've got two more tricep exercises left, we're going to be doing the push down, machine push down, I'll show you what it is over there, supersetted with close grip bench press, we haven't even been here long and we've done six chest exercises, maybe even seven, I think it was seven, and now four tricep exercises, now I would class as a successful workout, so two more exercises, then we're done. Alright then guys, so that is it for this video. It's been a few days now since I recorded the other stuff and it's all pretty much edited now, I just had to finish the video. I'm in a completely different place now, we're in Amsterdam and obviously like I hadn't ended this video. So after watching all the footage and like what I've already edited, I kind of wanted to elaborate on the video and explain like why I was so emotional at like the middle point after just saying goodbye to Britney. And I guess the only way I can do that is by like kind of explaining a little bit about our story and like why it's so hard to say goodbye. When we were together like two and a half years ago, there would be periods of like two months, three months where we just like wouldn't see each other because obviously the, the distance she lived in America and because we wouldn't see each other for so long it was like so hard when you're trying to like maintain a relationship that is long distance like especially four and a half thousand miles it's near impossible like unless you have profound feelings for the person that you're with and obviously now it's only gonna be a month saying goodbye kind of brought back that feeling of like well I'm not gonna see you for so long when obviously now it's not gonna be that long I guess that's why I got so emotional and I care about this girl a lot she's been in my life for so long there was a period before we didn't see each other for like a year and a half but we said to each other when we broke up two and a half years ago that in two years in the future we'll try again and now what are the odds that that happens like people will say they'll get back together but they never actually do i kind of just wanted to clear that up just because you probably think i'm so like i guess weak <laughs> it's only going to be like a month that is the end of this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it right now like i said i'm in amsterdam zach perna is in the apartment just we live we're, we're stopping just across the street right now i'm looking at a beautiful river i'll show you now this is the street that we're living on and then obviously this is the water got some of the boats over there and it goes all the way down there too. And honestly, this place is like, it's so beautiful. Right now, guys, I'm going to end this video here. We have a whole day to explore. This is day number two in Amsterdam. We've already recorded one vlog. We're going to go out today and probably go on a boat trip that takes you around the whole of Amsterdam. They last like an hour. And then we're going to see Deadpool 2 tonight, which I'm excited about because I've been watching trailers for it for like the past six months. And Deadpool 1 was sick. So I'm, I've got high expectations for Deadpool 2. So that is the plan for today. So guys, with that being said, I'm, <laughs> this guy behind me. With that being said, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, Video, please smash the like button if you haven't already joined the Don Squad. Thank you, Gareth Henton. Gareth Henton, yeah, I think I said that right, for being part of the Don Squad. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.